welcome your host to the stage, Matt O'Kai. It's great to be here. Um, very excited. Melbourne International Comedy Festival. This is the Festival Club. Uh, this is ABC Two's Comedy Up Late. We're going to be having a lot of fun. Good, good to have a bit of comedy. Uh, for, for, you know, a month in this beautiful city. I'm very happy. Good to stay positive. Well, I haven't been very, like, I'm glad to be around, uh, um, you know, the Comedy Festival because I haven't been very happy necessarily recently. Um, I, I've been, uh, I've got this terrible self-harming habit at the moment, which I probably should admit. Um, but I, it's this form of self-harm where I sit at home on uh, real estate websites and put in a minimum of five million dollars. <laughs> and just look at what I'll never be able to have. Have you done that? I can assure you, it hurts as much as cutting, but it's not as obvious, so your boss doesn't ask any questions. Because I'm 28 years old now, my, my, my dad is putting pressure on me to buy a house, right? Because all my friends have bought houses and I've only just gotten my very first full-time job, right? After 10 years of being out of school, my very first full-time job, and my dad's like, just buy what you can afford, man. Just buy what you can afford. And so I, I was like, okay, fine. I put in the absolute maximum amount I could afford on this real estate website. Maximum amount I could possibly afford. Two results, both car parks. Okay? <laughs> And when that shit happens, you're like, fuck, could I live in a car park? Maybe if there was like two Jeeps on either side, I could just hang a tarpaulin across the top, plant some, pl you know, plants, maybe sublet half of it out to motorcycles. Because I still live in a share house. I live in a share house uh, with my girlfriend and this asshole flatmate, man. Fuck, I hate this guy so much. He's like one of my best friends in the world, but I hate this dude so much. He's been a lawyer for 10 years. He's about to move out and buy his own place. He has nice shampoo. Fuck this guy, man. He him and his silky ass hair. I hate him, okay? Every shower I'm sitting there looking at this deluxe, beautiful little bottle of shampoo, salon style, sexy little bottle. It's so small I can't even steal from it. I have to put a little dab on my finger and like a patch of my hair at a time. Every shower I'm just doing mosaic style till I get to the end and I have to start all over again like painting the Harbour Bridge. I have to sit there looking at this delicious little bottle of shampoo sitting right next to my two litre pump action bottle of combined hair and body wash. It's like, you can't wash both those things at the same thing. Ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be such a great night. Uh, I'm so excited to bring all these guests out to you on stage.